I, I, oh yeah. I've got a. <coughs> Should I just launch in? You guys are rolling? Take a leap from Minka. Why do we build a wall? My children, my children. Why do we build a wall? Why do we build a wall? We build a wall to keep us free. That's why we build a wall. We build a wall to keep us free. I was raised um, Quaker. You know, okay. my mom is a pacifist, so you really uh, um, really committed pacifist. Okay. And I remember when I was in college, I studied po politics and I started to really question like, well, what about, you know, what about um, in World War II and like, you know, what about this situation? Isn't it necessary to use violence in this and this situation? And she said something to me that I thought was really profound. She, she said, I understand that there's, there's logic behind these other ways of being in the world, but I feel like if no one holds down the pull, the extreme pull of like violence is wrong, then the entire conversation shifts towards the violent. How does the wall keep us free? My children, my children. How does the wall keep us free? How does the wall keep us free? The wall keeps out the enemy. And we build the wall to keep us free. That's why we build the wall. We build the wall. I was talking to some of your guys, your organizers, and, and they were saying how, you know, really intensely they've been planning for what happens if you guys are evicted and um, this idea of going into schools and teaching kind of about citizenship and, and direct action yeah. as a form of citizenship. Yeah. Um, I, I didn't learn in school. <laughs> no, I, I think that was something that was lacking for most of our education. Right. Who do we call the enemy? My children. I sort of think of the, uh, the Occupy movement as like an avatar <laughs> for expressing a, a feeling which a lot of folks that would not hang out in the tent on the steps of St. Paul, like, mm. that they feel, but yeah. they're not able to, um, to join in, in the physical manifestation of it. Yeah, yeah. They, they're like sort of, it's, a, it's an avatar for those people. Like say it, but I feel like that it is true that you know we live in a society where you start working and there's not a lot of room for anything else beyond like just the kind of day to day putting bread on the table. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think exactly like a lot of people in the states like they would be involved if they weren't um, so just kind of. Uh, up to their eyeballs in trying to make ends meet and family life and yeah. being an employee and being a family member. Because we have and they have not my children, my children. Because they want what we have got. Because we have and they have not. Because they want what we have got. The enemy is poverty. And the wall keeps out the enemy And we build a wall to keep us free That's why we build a wall We build a wall to keep us free Hi, my name's Aeneas Mitchell and I'm a songwriter from the States. Um, I'm really excited to be in London with the Occupy movement and um, I love what you guys are doing and wanted to check out what you're up to. Um, and I'm going to sing a song in a few minutes by the Bank of England, <laughs> which we've chosen as our symbolic backdrop. Um, it's a song that comes from an opera that I wrote, a folk opera called Hades Town. It's, uh, it's based on the Orpheus myth, but it's set in a post-apocalyptic depression era. And um, Hades Town, or Hades, 
is a sort of a company town, or it's a, a land of wealth and security. And um, and Hades, the king of the underworld, is building a, a giant wall all around Hades Town to keep the the poor people out. So really, it's an archetypal song about um, wealth and poverty and the wall that will inevitably always exist between the two. What do we have that they should want? My children, my children. What do we have that they should want? What do we have that they should want? We have a wall to work upon. We have work and they have none. And our work is never done. My children. Thanks for doing this. Very cool.